Hey everybody, my name is Leslie Bonte. I am a registered dietitian, a sports dietitian, and the owner of Active Eating Advice. Well, we are halfway through July, and not only are we dealing with heat and wind and smoke and everything else, but there's some really exciting things coming up, and that's Picklesburg in Pittsburgh. So for all of you out there who are pickle fans, you are near and dear to my heart, and let's talk a little bit about what the wonders of pickles. Now, I grew up uh, eating a lot of pickles. My dad always loved having pickles. The garlickier, the better. They were part of every single meal. He just loved them all the time. So pickles are in my blood. But when we think about pickles, what are we starting with? It's a cucumber um, vegetable. That's what this is. So nutritionally, this is great. Pickles are very high in terms of fluid. They're very high in terms of fiber. They have folate, which is a B vitamin. They have vitamin C in them. They have beta carotene, which is a form of vitamin A. They also have vitamin K and potassium. So a nutritional powerhouse. And best of all, the calories are minimal. Now, if you eat sweet pickles, those are a little higher in terms of the calories, but those good old sour dill ones don't have a lot of calories. So, when we think about pickles, we've got lots of options out there. And here, since we live in Pittsburgh, why not pick Pittsburgh pickles? They're awesome. There's lots of pickles that are available on the shelf. Some are hot, some are spicy, some have other seasonings added to it, but at the end of the day, it's still a pickle. So enjoy them. You can enjoy them as a snack. You can have them on the side. Some people chop them in with their peanut butter. I don't know, that doesn't do it for me, but some people really love things like that. Well, what else is it about pickles that has been interesting? This is pickle juice. Personally, not a fan, but I will tell you that I have a lot of athletes who use it and swear by it as a way of helping to minimize cramps. Now, that being said, this is anecdotal and most likely a placebo effect. There really isn't a lot of science behind it, but you know what? If it works for you to have a little pickle juice and that helps your muscle cramps to go away, that's fine. The other thing about pickles to be aware of is that they do contain sodium in them. That's the brine that the pickle is packed in. And so if you do need to watch your sodium intake, what you might want to do is rinse them off. You'll still enjoy the pickle, but you won't have that extra sodium. The one other thing about pickles, and I think it's important for everybody to understand, is hashtag fermentation nation. When we buy pickles, and particularly the ones that are in the refrigerated case, when you look at the pickle, sometimes you'll see the little bubbles that are in there. What does that mean? That means that this pickle is fermented. It is a source of probiotics, those good bacteria that are so good for the gut. But you have to make sure that you buy the ones that are in the refrigerated case. Absolutely fine to have the shelf stable one, but you don't get the benefit of the probiotic. So whether you are just enjoying the pickle for the flavor, whether you're using it because it helped to decrease cramps, whether you're trying to do something because it's good for the gut, doesn't much matter. A pickle a day is going to keep us happy in every way.